Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mumbleet. Welcome back to another video. And we got our first repeat of last we see a 78 plus upgrade. I'm gonna show you guys how you can grind this, make a bunch of packs, and how you could potentially have some workarounds. Prices do increase. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get 25 likes on this video. Now, by the time I'm recording this, it just came out, so we have another day in 23 hours. I really like that they added this midweek. I hope we see more midweek repeatable SBCs in the future. This is a 78 upgrade, and I'm going to show you the requirements right now. It's not that big of a deal. It's literally only 15 chem. You need five players in the squad, and they need to be a minimum of gold. So if you were to bid on common golds right now, everything is going for 400 by now, but you can get them for 350 on bid. If you picked up three cards on bid, all common golds, that would cost you 1,750 coins. Now, in terms of the value of these packs, is that worth it for one rare player? That is 78 rated right above. A lot of players on the market currently right now aren't going for a whole bunch of coins. A lot of them are going for less than 700 that are rare gold. So if you think about it, chances that you get something absolutely fantastic out of this every single time is not very likely. But if you're someone who's trying to go for ones to watches, build up fodder, and you have a bunch of cards in your club, this is not a bad way to put some coins into it. And I'm going to show you here in a second after we open this pack some good ways you can grind this if prices are getting too high or if you're wanting to find different ways to maybe have fun with this. So first one we get, no board, no walkout either, but we get an 80 rated. So can't really do much with that. What you can do if you wanted to, every single time you do these SBCs, if you wanted to use a duplicate, and if it's a duplicate untradeable, put it in your next SBC, you could have one less player needed for the 78 rated plus. Then you only need four players, and then I'll show you right now some workarounds you can do as well. So a lot of people are going to want to find alternatives to buying common golds on the market. Here's going to be the number one people are going to go to. Instead of doing the bidding, they're going to go to the silver upgrade where you can get three common gold players from this. If you do one of these, you would only need to buy two gold players. But if you do this twice, you would have enough to do the SBC. Now, what is it required to do the silver upgrade? You need 11 silver players. You can pick these up on bid for 150 coins if you wanted to. Or if you're someone like me who does the bronze pack method, does the bronze upgrade and works your way up, you can get a lot of untradeable silvers in your club that you can then put into this. So if you haven't been someone who did the bronze pack method before, or you're a little hesitant whether or not it'd be worth it this year, I highly recommend doing it. Another thing to keep an eye on is silver prices. When you guys look at silver prices on the market, People, if they can't win common golds for the price they want, are going to go for the next best thing, which is going to be the common silvers. So if you look at common silver market, I assume everything on PlayStation is going to be going for 200 coins by now. Yep. 250, I'm assuming two. We're going to go straight to 300 to see what the price is. It looks like everything will sell within five minutes for 300 coins. If we go to 350, this will probably get lowered a little bit. Yep. Goes back down. It looks like some 300s as well. So the market might be a little glitched. So if you want to pick these up for cheap, you could try to pick these up for 150 on bid. A lot of the time we're going to get these for 200, which you can still flip them around for a profit. And if you want to, again, pick up 11 of these, put them into an upgrade SBC, you can do that. Um, 11 times 150 is going to cost you 1,650 coins. So in accordance to doing a 78 plus rated by buying common golds versus buying silvers, it still would be worth it to buy common golds, even if they're a little more than 350, just because you get better value out of it. But this is gonna make the silver trading tips that we do a lot better as well. If you guys are someone who loves the silver center back method, or you wanna find a way to make some easy coins, go in here, look at the buy now of these players. For example, this guy, his lowest buy now looks like it's around 700 coins. They're probably selling for 500 within the hour. I'm gonna place a 200 bid on him. A lot of people aren't gonna think twice about it. Um, looks like he already got a 200 on that one. This one, 500 by now, you can flip them for 400 coins within the hour. Again, looks like someone's putting a bid on that. So just go through, and if you're on PlayStation, try to get some 200 bids down. It's going to be a little competitive, but you can flip coins easy. And then whatever profit you make from this, you can then, I guess, buy the common golds that you'd want to do in the 78 plus upgrade. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you need any more tips or that wasn't clear enough, feel free to let you let me know. Um, I did jump around a little bit. Again, I would recommend bidding on common golds for 350 and flipping them. Um, if you want to bid on them all and use them all, you can do that as well. 
uh, but I will be bidding and flipping and then selling the du duplicates and I'll also do some silver trading on the side. But yeah, I'll catch you next time. It's been your boy Mumbly. I'm out. God bless.